Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Shalom everybody, it's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. And you know, I've been traveling all over the world, just meeting some great brothers and sisters. And if you're one of them, it's great to see you again here. Uh, but you know, I met a, a brother, Gilbert Vincent, years ago, and I've been going to his Sukkots, and he's just a passionate man for Yahweh. And recently I was doing a lecture, and he was at the lecture, and he started talking uh, an answer to a question. And what he says is so true, and he says it with so much passion. I've had him on the show before. You could go to TorahLife.tv and see some of his videos from before, but I had to get him again, because when he started talking, what he was saying was so true, and I'm so blessed that I got it on video, and you're going to get to see it today. And I'm telling you, man, what he says is basically, if you're going to please Yahweh, man is not going to love you. And if you're going to please man, Yahweh is not going to love you. And it's so true the way he puts it. And I'm so glad we got it on video. So sorry about the shaky camera, everybody, but we got it anyway. So you check it out. Hang in there. It's worth it. And here is Gilbert Vincent on Tour Life TV. Here it goes right now. 39 years. Well, 11 years ago, I've been, I was on radio seven days a week preaching to Hellfire and Brimstone in Dallas. I was on the air, a local station, uh, seven days a week. I went to Israel in 99, and the biggest lesson I learned when I went to Israel is that the Creator is not double-minded. Anything He said from Genesis 1 on, He means. And Friday afternoon, everything started closing down in Jerusalem. People are closing shops, and nothing opened until Saturday night. They stopped. They stopped everything they were doing in honor the Sabbath, because He did. He made everything in six days, and he stopped. The word Shabbat actually means to stop. And when you stop, you're resting, because you've stopped. And so the Creator did that, and he wants us to be like him. You know, people are saying, be like Mike. No, be like him. He's my role model. And so they say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. His will is from Genesis 1 on. He's not double-minded. Let every man be alive, but let him be true <coughs> by quoting him. You can quote them. If your New Testament seems to contradict the old, you got a bad translation. Because it's like heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot or tittle did you. Yeshua said, don't even think. In other words, slap yourself. If you even think one scripture in the first five books of the Bible is going to fail. And he didn't really mean it. He was just kidding. No. Because then God would be a double minded and unstable in all his ways, according to James, the brother of Yeshua. He's not double minded. If he said it, Take it, down. let every man be alive. Just let me. Another thing it says, Paul says, everybody comes preaching any other gospel. And this is New Testament quote. He didn't say, oh, pray for the poor Michigan. He said, let them be accursed. Let the weasel be cursed. But you go and preach the gospel. And the everlasting gospel, according to Revelation, he saw an angel with the everlasting gospel in the midst of having to preach every nation, kindred, tongue, and people throughout the whole earth, saying with a loud voice, fear God. Are you crazy? I stand in his presence, his stone smokes him. He created every atom. They held together by his word. Fear him and do exactly what he said. Don't go by church doctrine. People say, oh, well, then you're just legalistic. Well, that makes you illegalistic if you don't go by what he says. Because whatever he says is law as far as I'm concerned. Whatever he said, he, everything he said held together every atom and made it and is holding it together. So I'll, if you go by him, you're in tune with the universe. You're in tune with the creator. If you follow his instructions, go against him. You're gonna get sick, and you're gonna and you're gonna have to, now you're gonna have bad times, you know, and you're gonna have good times. There's a time and place for everything, but greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And if God be for you, who can be against you? You're gonna have hard times, but he's for you. Who can be against you? Just keep right on going. You know, you gotta have oil in your vessel with your lamp. The Bible says. Because when he comes, there was five foolish versions, didn't have oil. You know where you get to oil? Not when you're on the mountaintop and the head's blowing in you, the wind's blowing your head, you got a staff and everything's smooth. It's in the valley where there's not a flutter of the Holy Spirit, and you just keep right on going through that valley, and you're trusting him. Because it said, let the righteous smite me. It'll be a precious oil that will not break my head. Let a righteous man smite you, rebuke you in the scriptures, and it'll, it'll be oil that you can store up, and you'll be able to walk in that later on, because we're coming on a time of tribulation the world has never seen since it was a nation, and it won't be after it like that. And you got to go through that to make it through the seventh millennium, which is a millennium of peace. Satan's bound a thousand years, no war. We're actually going to have peace on earth. We're going to have a Sabbath thousand years. 
The world's not even 6,000 years old. I don't want to hear all this millions and billions of years. I've got a picture I always carry around of a limestone from Texas, where I'm in Glen Rose, Texas. It's a piece of limestone that this guy cut out of the riverbed. It's got a human footprint with a big old three-toed dinosaur footprint stepping into it. And then the flood sealed it, Noah's flood. And there it is proven that man and dinosaur were there at the exact same time. You know, he made them both the same day. So the whole duty of man is to fear God. If it was 99% of the duty, I'd cut you and slack. But he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Do that and you'll be happy. Happy is the man that feareth always, the Bible says. You'll be happy all the time if you fear him. Yeah, Isaiah said, make him your fear. Make him your dread. Dread to displease God. Don't worry about it. If you If you're pleasing the Lord, you're going to displease men. If they crucified your, your Savior, what are they going to do to you? But just make sure you please. Say, I'm too afraid of offending men. No, I'm afraid, more afraid of offending God by not wanting them. The gospel is wanting every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, which is the fear of Yahweh. That's the definition of wisdom. Yep. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, there it was. That's my friend Gilbert Vincent. Uh, he's a great man and a great brother of Yahweh. And uh, Gilbert has the coat in Texas, in Dallas, the Dallas area every year. I've been there for the last two years. We had great guests. We had a great time. He even let me do the food. He wanted me to make raw food for the whole Sukkot. And we're going to be doing it again this year. So if you want more information about that, just send a comment or a question below the video or any other comments or questions you have below the video. And we'll get that information out to you. And I will answer your questions on TorahLife.tv. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Shalom, shalom. Seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's way.